We've seen positive development for the EU on gender equality. Most recently, we have a new commissioner with responsibility for gender equality, but we also have the principal gender advisor sitting within the European External Action Service. Our paper contributes to the literature on gender and European studies and demonstrates why it's imperative that the EU continue to support and adequately resource roles with responsibility for gender. It examines whether and how gender has been integrated into the European Union's external action, specifically through its approach to digital diplomacy. If, as the EU claims, equality is a normative foundation, and given the treaty obligations to gender mainstreaming and to implementing the UN's Women, Peace and Security agenda, then we would expect to find gender integrated in the EU's approach to digital diplomacy, including an articulation of how the EU sees itself as a gender actor. We look at two events in 2017. We chose 2017 because it marks the EU's 60th anniversary. We also look at International Women's Day to examine the European External Action Service approach to public diplomacy in the digital realm. We focus on Twitter as a digital diplomacy tool, and we look at how the European External Action Service main account and also the high representative Federica Mogherini's Twitter account, both of which are centrally managed to communicate about the EU as a gender actor on these two occasions. But we also look at the principal gender advisor, Mara Maranaki's communications. And it's important to note that her Twitter account is managed herself without central support, and this limits her reach. So what we find is that gender is siloed into International Women's Day. The principal gender advisor, for the reasons mentioned above perhaps, doesn't tweet on the 60th anniversary, but also that the EAS and Mogherini's account didn't tweet about how the EU supports gender equality, which we would have expected given the EU claims gender as a foundational value and is committed to the UN's Women, Peace and Security agenda. Our paper therefore adds an understanding of where and how the EAS articulates its role as a gender actor or doesn't in the digital sphere.